Hey, it's uh, Troy here. I am in downtown Chicago today. Just going to spend the afternoon here. It's a very brisk fall day, mid-October. Um, in the sun, it's not bad. In the shade, it gets a little chilly. Um, but I'm just going to do a few things. Heading towards the Art Institute of Chicago. Gonna look around there. So I'm gonna hit the Shed Aquarium um, and just see what else I can get into with my afternoon here in downtown Chicago. Here's what um, everybody knows as The Bean. I think it's called The Clouds or something like that, the actual name of the sculpture, but it's The Bean. It's a reflection of downtown. A lot of people here, obviously. Um, great, iconic Chicago location. Here's the famous Al Bundy fountain. It's like Al flushed too many times. It's no longer running. Right here off the waterfront. what's happening there but the fire the firemen are running the hose into the fountain Okay, as I walk over to the Shed Aquarium, I decided to take a uh, break. That wind is no joke. So I found a place that's a little bit quieter, a um, little bit uh, less windy. So the Shed Aquarium is right over there. I'll be there in just a second. But um, I want to tell you about the Art Institute of Chicago. Um, it had several uh, famous paintings. It was uh, 
$29 for an out-of-state adult, um, I believe. I got a discount, so, but I think it was $29. Uh, had a lot of famous paintings. They had a Surratt's Sunday on the Grand Jeté, uh, Edward Hopper's Nighthawks, Van Gogh's Self Portrait, uh, George O'Keefe's Sky Above the Clouds. few others. Uh, Chagall's window. Uh, a lot from the Chagall's window and the Surratt Sunday at Le Grand Jate. It was in Paris Bueller's Day Off. I'm looking at the map right now so you can see the visitor guide. It's three, four floors total. Um, three a little bit confusing. Um, they would not allow backpacks in there, um, which was fine, except when I got to the ticket window, they said I needed to check my bag. I couldn't take it in, so I went to check my bag. Had a bottle of water in the side, and so then they told me I couldn't, uh, I had to take the bottle of water out. So I took the bottle of water out, went back to the ticket window to go in, and then they said I couldn't take the water in unless I took it inside a bag and they gave me a little bag for it. So, a little bit odd. And the guy was really nice about it. He laughed that I said I just took the water out of a bag just to be told I need to put it back in a bag. So, um, but just keep that in mind. If you go to visit, you can't take it back back in, but you can check it for free, no problem. Um, and it has a lot of famous paintings. Uh, I spent about an hour and a half there. I could have spent more time, but um, it was really crowded. And I wanted to get on to some other things that I'm doing today, so. Um, but it was well worth it. I highly recommend stopping by if you're in downtown Chicago. Let's see, they have a water taxi to Navy Pier and Michigan Avenue. Um, I've taken those before. They're neat. The sightseeing tours are cool too. On a day like today, it may not be as fun. Here we are approaching the Shed Aquarium. It's right down here in the lake, right in the museum campus. I'll show you here, right in the corner here where, where it's kind of located. This is part of their Caribbean display. The hammerhead shark. Oh yeah. Right in front of me, a stingray. Wow, that's some right in front of me. So I don't know what it is about just watching 
very nice, but it can be so mesmerizing. Buddy. That's a big fish. Whoa. That's a big fish. Mr. Gator. The sun came out a little bit. So now you can see downtown. A little bit more light. See the aquarium was pretty cool. I got in free. I'm a teacher. I'm not sure exactly how much the admission is. But there was a lot in there. I saw my videos. There was a lot in there. I spent a little over an hour, I could spend more time, but I'm certainly ready to uh, move on to some other things today, so. Shed Aquarium, definitely worth it, worth the admission, uh, especially with the kids. The kids seem to really be entertained by a lot going on in there, so. Highly recommend Shed Aquarium. That's um, Soldier Field there. We got a game this evening against uh, Washington Commanders. Two hours to kick off, two and a half, maybe three hours to kick off, I can't remember. Uh, so you can see some fans going up now, but uh, we've got a lot of walking to do, so I'm not going to walk. I'm going to walk around the course a little bit closer, um, but that's Soldier Field. Uh, ended here. This isn't downtown Chicago, but this is the Walt Disney. This is the Walt Disney's birthplace home. His parents built this home and I'm drawing a blank on the year um, 1899, 1898, something like that. They built this home and then he was born a few years later in this home. He moved when he was four. He didn't live here very long. He moved to Marceline, Missouri when he was four years old. But this is the home of Walt Disney. And even though it's not downtown Chicago, this is where we're going to end the vlog at the end.
birthplace of Walt Disney. There used to be a sign indicating it. In pictures I've seen, there was a sign indicating it, but there's no longer a sign here indicating it. Um, but um, this is it. This is the birthplace of Walt Disney. Hope you enjoyed the vlog. See the 